and welcome to Remember When with Diana Dory, a podcast where I, Diana Dory, ask my guests they remember when something happened in pop culture history that had some sort of effect on them. I always feel really silly saying that. Anyway, um, this is a spooky Halloween episode, which is why I'm dressed up, obviously. Anyone thinks this is my real clothes, how dare you? These are actually my real clothes. Um, <laughs> Do you want to be witches cackle in the background? I know, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good. If you would like some free wine, remember that you can go to wine52.com forward slash remember. You have to use that code. And for just eight ninety nine, which is like the postage price, you'll get free like creative wine. So I think everyone should do that and enjoy the Halloween weekend with some wine. The link's in the description um, to make it easier so you don't have to actually type it in like some sort of caveman. Do you know that's Lou Vega's company, the singer? Wine of Today? No, it's yeah, not. It is. He started off Mambo 47. And then he did loads of different things and then he got up to wine 52. I mean, he had like genius. condoms 48 and stuff. <laughs> they were good. He would need condoms 48. It was not going to be Monica and well, Joanna and Brian yeah, and definitely. everybody. Yeah, just loads of um, Bridesmaids of Northern Ireland finishes this weekend in Derry. There's still tickets left at the Millennium Forum for Friday and Saturday night, the 28th and 29th of October. I think it is. Wise up. I know it's Halloween weekend. Actually, there are loads of tickets sold, but there are, are definitely some left. So definitely try and go. And also, Sean, for you bought in. I'm about to plug our show together that we've both read <laughs> uh, Home Alone, due to phenomenal demand, we've added an extra week of shows between Christmas and New Year's, and they're now on sale. So go to geohitch.co.uk and buy the shit out of that show. <laughs> buy early, buy often, and buy... What's that phrase? I don't do stocks. In bulk. <laughs> buy... All your bitches tickets go twice. I think it's funnier. I hear things are funnier second time round. <laughs> I think that's the way they do it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, my guests today are my husband and baby daddy and comedian, Conor <laughs> 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 Sean Haggerty. <Sorry. laughs> and document <clears throat> Belfast Instagram holder, Conor Murr. And also ex colleagues. Yes, yes, that's right, back in the day. You're both potentially my future exes. <laughs> <laughs> right. In what way? Well, we could just set up. Well, I worked with him. I used to work oh, with Oh, right, him. okay. I just said it. So you call him, you wouldn't call him an ex, though? An ex-colleague. Imagine this whole time, every time I talked about an ex to you, it was like somebody I used to work with, and she's like, she was frisky in her 20s. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I thought it was Mambo 47. It's Mambo number, number five. five. It's, what? It, what's that one... Brim full of Asha. That's 45. 45. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. What other songs have numbered in? Let's uh, go through them all. <laughs> Two become one by the Spice Girls. Yeah. Um, the band five. The it's band just a whole five, six, seven, eight. You get you down know, now. Five, five six, six, seven, eight. Seven or band. Nobody goes high in the numbers, do they? Nobody goes like, like I'd love to look at 99. Hey. I'd love to look at 99. Hey. Wall, that one. 99 red balloons. Highest number. 99 problems. There were 9 million bicycles in Beijing. That's, That's probably say. wrong, is that? There is there 9, nine million? million? It wouldn't There's be billion. More. I said million. Yeah, million. I've just got a, I've got, I have a cold. <laughs> right. 9 million. <laughs> nine million. <laughs> Do you know how she wrote that song, Katie Malia? She was in... Beijing. Beijing. She was in Beijing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big hit in Malaya fans here. And uh, she was doing all those wee city tours. Do you want people like walk you around and tell you all the crack? Yeah. And one of the facts that someone said during that was, hey, Jim Hal. And they go, nine billion. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that, can you not? No. Right, okay. You said, but... One of the facts is that nine billion, no million bicycles yeah. in Beijing, and she thought that's a great opening line for a song. Didn't know here, you spoke Mandarin, she wasn't wrong. <laughs> yes, I do. It's fluent. Mandarin, pumpkin. So, so there's no, <laughs> the there's bench. no actual fact that there are nine million <coughs> bicycles in Beijing. Oh no, that's a fact. That's the next line of the song. That's a fact. Uh, it's a thing we can like deny. One more bicycle. I'll just, I'll pop over here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking because that is the next line of the song. I'm fucking half asleep. I'm, I'm doing three jobs today. He is. And do you know what? Not even back to back. Simultaneously. Simultaneously. He's currently working right now for another yeah. job. He's so on tired. He's been on 10 shirts today as well. Yeah. No, that's it. Talk me through your costume, Sean. So I showed up, right? I, I did this show on an hour's notice, by the way. Fucking Dave Elliott dressed as fucking, what do you call her? Uh, start again. Start again. <laughs> What's your costume? My costume is Joey from Friends. And when we showed up in separate cars today, yes. 
because obviously I was at home working and you were on your way to do this when Dave pulled out. Yeah. And then um, you get out of your car and you turned around and you see me and you're all, oh, right, you're just wearing all your clothes. And I was like, fuck's <laughs> sake, come on. I didn't realise it was Joey. I didn't get out of You didn't well, you get looked, and it does you look looked at me like this and went, when are you dressing up? No, you didn't. <laughs> I think That's it was like, because of the shirt on the top. Because you're he like didn't a, wear like a Hawaiian shirt. I don't know, yeah, it's like, you know. He did wear a short sleeve shirt on the top, though. Yeah, he definitely did. Do you know? I know, that's what I mean. You've got yeah, correct yeah, yeah, yeah. with the layers. Shorts, of course. Even the shorts, too, have like two pairs of shorts on like, on top of my jeans. It is good when you look at it. Look it's handy as well that he's dressed like I have just kicked him out. Yeah. <laughs> so he can just head on right now yeah. from here. He's got all his shit. I was like, can I grab a suitcase? She goes, just leave. So I just <laughs> fucking clothesline my... <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the town, yeah, straight away. <laughs> Fuck's sake! And I had to get up in the attic to get two fucking ties. I only had one black tie from a funeral somewhere. So, <laughs> you your funeral to, ties. You're, you're good interview ties. Yeah. Do you have funeral ties? This one here, yeah. I have like one, one, one tie. Hello. <laughs> but you that's one tie. Yeah, I have one funeral tie. Just you know, really. Just like it's like mor- morning. Well, you don't want to be seen to be showing off. No, <laughs> you don't want to be like wearing different styles to each funeral. What one am I gonna wear today? Imagine <laughs> Hello. You're a family member. Like, Fucking <laughs> glutzy bastard was that? Auntie Barbara is wearing a new suit. Tie on. <laughs> For fuck's sake! He's got a new suit every fucking you funeral. Know? <laughs> the most Northern Irish thing. She didn't wear, didn't wear that fancy suit to my thingy's funeral. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, oh, hi, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's repeating to that. Yeah. Funeral, it's like them and more. <laughs> you went so, a lot of effort here for the Halloween special. I like it. Thank you. I cleared out. These are our decorations from our front doorstep. Yeah, M- most of them. And that's my dad's hand. Yes. On there. Oh. It's my dad's actual hand. And I had to remove it from my hole. I was wearing this when we, when we got it off him. Where's he now? <laughs> Where is he? Any? He's in the ground. <laughs> Connor, talk me through your costume. Well, um, I am a Jedi Knight because I also had one day's notice yeah. <laughs> to get a costume. Well, you and told me it was Halloween, didn't you? I, didn't, I don't know. There's, if there's no party or something like that, I'm not going to. Is, there is sorry, a party. is this not a party? <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, I know what sort of parties you're going to. Go on out on Halloween or something, you know? Like, I won't have a costume. I think I might have one like in, up in the attic, but I'm not yeah. going up there. So I wore a Jedi robe. This is Jedi Knight. And Sean, we've established as not seeing Star Wars. No. But these are the good guys. Sean will refuse to watch anything that he has to suspend his disbelief. Is that the phrase? Is that like suspend all fiction then? I, yes. I said mum when I'm 47. I, I, <laughs> I didn't want to correct you, but I thought I was like another reference to it, one of his other songs or something, like lesser known ones. No, please tell me, because I'll do that, and then I'll get home in four days listen that later, I'll listen back to the episode, yeah. and I'll be like, why the fuck did I do that? Why did I say that? Mambo 47. Oh, that would fry your head. That yeah. would fry your head. Yeah. No, Sean won't watch anything like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings... Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Anything that got there that involves a, a, a different dimension, a different era. He won't watch anything. It's like a period drama because they're always grumpy. And do you know what? He doesn't watch I, anything. I go by time too. So say films in the 80s, I I won't even look at them anymore. That's they're they're gone to me. They're they're in the past. So you haven't seen like some of the best movies of all time. No, you could go now. through the IMDb top one hundred. Yeah, and, we and did I have before. probably seen fucking Free Willy. Hasn't too. seen Titanic. <laughs> and Free Willy too. Hasn't one seen to Avatar. Early. But I know what happens <clears> in Titanic. Well, that's because of the history. I think. She gets her daddy's out. <laughs> she does, certainly. Gets yeah. a bit steamy yeah. in the old car. Who do you think I'm dressed up as? Thursday Adams. We b- I'm not Thursday Adams. I'm Thursday Adams. It's the dehydrated Thirsty version Adams. of Wednesday Adams with a bottle of water. <laughs> Is that actually what you're... That's what I'm dressed up oh, okay. as. Okay. Because when we say Wednesday Adams... Yeah, that's right. so... I don't know where you'd get that from. <laughs> so no idea. Wrong. This has a hood as well, by the way. Oh, very good. So, if we go look at... Do you know what's great about that? There's two types of hoods. One Belfast hoods. Yeah, <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Um, you get hoods that are like too short for your head. Yeah, and don't cover your head. Whereas that's you could rob shit with that one. You have to as a Jedi Knight because you need to like sneak around sometimes. You know. I don't know what they do either. Uh, I've actually never seen Star Wars. Keep the but that's pace. Not. Well, then maybe you should have like a wee night together watching the Star Wars movies. Dark Knight. Yes. You know. We'll do that, that after Batman? the divorce. Dark Knight's Batman. Yeah. 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 Batman. <laughs> sure do you know how many times I've dressed up as Wednesday Adams? Every year since I've met you. So easy. I own this dress and I own this face. Tradition. <laughs> Just makes it really easy. It's a wig, but you've got the rest of it there. Lucky for some, owning their own face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens the when you have the big time colour. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody owns it. Cost 11 crisis now. Um, yeah. do you, so obviously you have an Instagram account that you run that's about um, the history of Belfast mm-hmm. and different historical buildings and stuff. Yes. 
Are there any that you're aware of that are haunted? Do you believe in ghosts? Mm, not really, no. Right, well, there's the end of that. Hobby. <coughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm open to the idea, all right, but I'm I'm very skeptical right. about it, like, because, I don't know, I'm not really religious or anything. Yeah. So it sort of goes hand they in hand. They go hand in hand, hand you know what I mean? Well, you have to sort of believe in an afterlife to believe in, like, ghosts and things, so, mm -hmm. no, but, um, you know, I still get freaked out at places. Right, like, like where? Like, um, do you like if it's an old building in the dark or something like yeah. that? And, and a visa at night. So we used to work together in a visa, which is now China White. Uh, I think it's at Franklin's, the sports thing. It did change oh, that, didn't it? And then the oh, perch. it's a whole pile of things. And yeah. then the perch and then yeah. readers and all those different yeah. Yeah. names. It's been loads of places. I think back in the day, people it was La Lea. <coughs> like before yes, a visa. it was. Yeah, yeah, but it was apparently really haunted. There was apparently, I got told there was like an orphanage or like a HQ yeah, for like an orphanage. I think we did one time something. too when you were working there. What did you get told? There was, it was an orphanage? Orphanage or like offices for an orphanage or something yeah. like that. No, for a lot of, they admin. should not have kids working in offices. <laughs> <laughs> no. There are offices up near the top yeah. and they're in yes. pure darkness and nobody yeah. ever goes up there. So bad. Apparently you they're hear so cool. noises of children. Well, uh, I heard. There was like a room, there was like a storage room up there. I had to get something out of it and I didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't know. The big, big one at the top. Yeah. I've been up there too. It's not got a nice feeling to it. Odd vibes. It's because it doesn't have any heating. Do you know when you go to like really like places that have a really bad history. Have you ever been to like Auschwitz or anywhere? Yes, that's where we went for our first wedding anniversary. <laughs> did you Sexual. Did you, yeah. did you went to Poland just there? We went to, we went to Auschwitz. Specifically there. We, we <laughs> like, specifically went there. For, we did, I. Fair. Yeah. Well, did you get... Obviously, <laughs> I don't know what to say now. <laughs> Do you know, like, if, if the anniversary, it's a happy moment, obviously, you know, yeah. but like, did you get bad vibes from the place? Well, it's not a... Well, of course. Do you know, know I me mean, like a heavy sort of atmosphere? Well, like, do you know what I remember? I remember being in Auschwitz and being like, and like being so aware of how cold it was because our wedding anniversary is in the end of November, so it was freezing. Yeah. And I remember being like, the, the, these people were here obviously starving and yeah. barely any clothes yeah. and, you know, <clears throat> in outdoor sheds. And I remember just being like, they would have been just as cold, colder then. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm outside in a coat and Uggs and like how am I freezing? freezing? And I was like, I, yeah. that's where we're just the, one of the main things. Terrible and that place. that train track that goes on and then just stops mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, they're not going anywhere else. It's really, it's a horrible place. It's like, grim. But like that sort of vibe about places, like I went to like, when I was a kid, I remember going to Normandy, there were D-Day landings yeah. over in France and the beach is like, really super quiet and it was just like something eerie about it yes. you know? like something bad's happened here sort of thing well whenever we were in Auschwitz we were too tight to pay for the actual tour right because we were like and also we would get so bored like less than if somebody talk about nine million bicycles and whatnot <laughs> we'd be like there's other like we could go do our own tour. we bought like the guide book and yeah, like, we'll, we'll take ourselves around <clears throat> but when we left we missed all the don't want to call them hot spots because that's a bit insensitive. Yeah. But like we missed like the Points pool of full of hair and like yeah. the baby shoes and Ugh. we missed all that. Do you know what? I told you this. I went to the toilet actually, and I walked past all the shoes. Remember I told you? No. I did. So I seen all the shoes. It's very <laughs> harrowing. It is. I wanted to see the shoes. Did it's you? A good, it's a good word for it. Harrowing. Yeah, it is. But then um, that's how Sean and I like to spend our date nights. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. There are things like that in tourism. Next up, <laughs> There's de like deaf tourism and stuff, isn't there? Been to Ground Zero too, haven't I? Been, I've been there. Been to Ground Zero. I've been there. Yeah. But there's too many people around there. Like to, it, it does feel city, not anymore. somber, but it doesn't mm. feel as eerie because there's so many like tourists about. And because the waterfall is actually really loud. Mm. Like the in Ground Zero, like it's quite it's quite yeah. loud, so it doesn't feel silent. I was out there again in September there. So you were there in September? Mm -hmm. mm. Been there before though, but yeah. <laughs> Still not there, right? It, <laughs> Jesus. Can we say that now? I mean, yeah, it, it. it isn't. No, 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 it's not there. No. But you know, whenever, because we've been obviously over to Edinburgh Fringe a few times, and I've always wanted to do the dungeon tour. Mm -hmm. And not like the one where you have actors jump out and go, boo. Yeah. But like the one where it's like the actual, like there's, there's actual. There's a whole city, isn't there? Underground. Is there? Yeah, apparently. Or a town or whatever. I don't know. It's probably, yeah. yeah. In Edinburgh? Mm hmm. I don't know, but I know there's definitely like, ah, there's like passageways and like, I think, I thought it was like a prison or something underneath the ground. No, no, no. I think if you Google it, you'll see there, there's a full town, like full windows and doors and houses and, hmm. you know, a big row of houses and stuff. It's, it's class looking. So my show felt last week was in the Opera House and the producer of Bridesmaids was saying to me that about, so every theatre has a ghost light. Mm-hmm. 
do you know like they keep a light on I think it's for the ghosts because apparently all theatres are haunted of the souls of like actors and stuff okay I'll be me. I'll be honest. Why did you give me a part? <laughs> Which theater would you haunt? I would probably. I'd haunt the lyric because I haven't been on there yet. Okay. Right. Just like, I would do shitty stuff as well. But you might by the time you die. Yes. Well, I, so, I will be on there next year. You know. But um, if I die before next year, that's where I'll haunt. Okay. And I would go into the dressing rooms and like, just do <clears> wee <throat> shitty things like mix. Like I would replace someone's red lipstick with pink and be just all, fuck with people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just do yeah. it. Just do it. Shitty. Not like a scary prank. ghost, like but like Casper more. Yeah. Like, yeah okay. Yes, a friendly ghost. Like go beside one of the actors and fart. <laughs> yes, and to get people to blame them. And, and, uh, oh like, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I stand beside Patricia, fart and be all, "Hey, Patricia!" And everyone will be all, "Patricia." <laughs> yeah, it smells like death in here. Yeah. <laughs> where would you? Where would you haunt? Like are they the place you performed? Where would I haunt? Oh, or the place I performed. Yeah. Fucking some of the places still haunt me. I, <laughs> I would hell. say that place Dundonald. is only goal. Where them. I did. There's a golf club in Donegal uh, that you. The hotel. Uh huh. Ba 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 Bally something. Uh, they're they're all fucking called Bally something up there, aren't they? <laughs> he, had a, he had a bad time I, up there. Just oh really? Do so you do it maliciously? You'd want to haunt places you didn't like the people in. So. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Yeah, follow them home and everything else. Okay. I'll if it was for fun, I'd haunt a cinema like... and eat all their sweets. <laughs> Would you? But then <laughs> it would just fall to the ground. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, imagine not getting fat eating all the sweets. I'd love to be a ghost. Um, yeah, that place, that's yeah. where you should probably hunt. I did a gig <clears> one time, right? Somebody messaged me and he goes, do you fancy doing a gig in Donegal for Millionaire Golfers? They're over for the weekend from Manchester and they want a comedian. Do you want to do the gig? Yeah. It's fucking horrific, right? So I went and did the gig, got there. Everything was real weird. I was like, there's money in an envelope for me. And they were all, oh, don't worry, we'll sort you out at the end. And I was like, oh, but I was told, like, do you know, I need this before I go on. And they were like, don't worry, Joe, it's here in an envelope. You'll get it when you're done. So I got up and I started doing my stand-up and they just weren't interested. They were in the middle of eating their dessert, all talking to each other. After about seven or eight minutes, a fella came over and just lifted the mic out of my hand and he goes, away you go, young fella, well done. Jesus Christ. And I had to walk Twist. away. And then all the golfers were dead. <laughs> they were all dead. <laughs> they were all ghosts. <laughs> they were it fucking was, dead after. Just a dessert dropping The hotel the <laughs> was the shining. Oh my yeah. God, Overlook and Hotel. And then he says... Uh, what did you call it? Overlook Hotel. Ah, I didn't know the name. Yeah. Is that what it was called? Yeah, yeah. in the shining. The shining one. Never seen it. So they get rid of you? Shoot too. Yeah. So he says, you know, off you go, mate, or wherever, in, in an English accent. And then he oh goes, God, right, guys, petty Irishman, petty Englishman, petty Scotchman. And they all went, hey! And they all started telling fucking shit jokes you? from the 50s. <sighs> like oh, they weren't from Brown. Ireland anyway? No, they were from Manchester. Ah, uh, that's what the problem was. And then I went to the to the reception and I was like, how's day? And I have to collect my money. And they're all, we're not paying you for that. That was atrocious. And I was <gasps> like, what do you mean? I was like, I, I, I was pre- there to do my time. I was halfway through doing my time I had to do like 15 minutes or something for about 200 quid and they were all we'll give you like 30 quid for a bus home but what? that's all you're getting and Isn't that's that all they paid me and I had to stay overnight in that hotel and I'd, I just fucking went up to my room didn't have dinner didn't have anything to eat the rest of the night got up the next morning first bus home there's hey, nights it, it. I'm still awoken by Sean being all but you not like it. sue them or something for like breach of contract I mean what do you do like, there's no so contract cool. that's the thing there's no union for comedians yeah. here anyway should be yeah there isn't somebody needs to sort that out I was on strike on Monday were you yeah what do people do when they're on strike um pe- go to picket lines well you just don't work that's the, po- that's the yeah. point of it like you're supposed to down tools so you just affect the company in a certain way you know what I mean best job I ever had um, was working for it was a some sort of a, a call centre in mm-hmm. the BT building in Belfast yeah. and I was there for a summer because I was in between like two years of uni yeah. but I whenever I auditioned for it interviewed, interviewed. for the job <laughs> I'm lost touch whenever I interviewed for it um, juggling and all and yeah <laughs> it was like what do you need well, for, like, you're on the phone yeah, I had to <laughs> So they are obviously like, where do you see yourself in five years' time? This wasn't a temporary position, it was a full-time position. Okay. So I had to let on that that guy was really big into being in the call centre game. Yep. And I had to be like, listen, this is where I want to be, guys. Like, I'm I'm a people person, I want to chat. I want to solve problems, most importantly. <laughs> so I want to fix people's broadband ASAP. Mm-hmm. So I had to pretend that's where I wanted to be. And I got the job. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'll not be haunting lemons. And the day I started like whatever on the following Monday whatever there was a strike yeah indefinitely and I was there for three months and we struck the whole time <laughs> strike are you serious struck. <laughs> struck he struck the whole time just struck the fuck out of the place <laughs> <laughs> 
And I, we had to go in, but we only had to go in between 10 and 1. Right. We were there for three hours a day, and we played the Wii. The Wii? Is that what the way? Uh, I thought you were going to say that fucking thing with the string and the, the apple. thing you throw <laughs> up in the air and catch it. It's not the way. Well, the way's got two white handles. And you're doing tennis and all. Okay. So we had we played the way <laughs> for like three hours a day and got a Friday off. So we went for twelve hours a week and got a full time wage. It was the best. See, we don't we get never made it near a. F- I, no one ever handed me a phone. I we never had a phone. We don't get paid for hours. Ah. Oh. So we have to take a day's hit when we're on strike. For the, for the said company that I can't mention. Which is mad because people normally be like raging when people go on strike, but I didn't realise you don't get paid. I thought the I thought like a union might subsidise you or something. No, you, if you're really like not well off at all. They'll like, help out in some they'll way. Help, there's welfare fund and stuff. Right. Like they give to people and stuff. But yeah, if you're just every day. What are you lazy bastards striking for? <laughs> <laughs> Paying pay patients. rice, yeah. Fight the man, you know. That's it. That's what it is like. Fight the man, and then. And CEOs are getting oh. millions in bonuses. You do know? I? Uh, I actually had an interview one time in that BT place. Do you know the big, Did you? the big tower? The big tower. That's where it was. I went yeah. up one day and I was like really shy, and I think I was in between work and uh, I was just miserable at the time. And I went in and the guy goes, "All right, mate, here's what we're going to do." He sat me down, just fucking Dell boy, yeah. and he was all. He put a big pen on the table and he goes, "Sell, Sell me. me that pen." Oh, and I was, like, uh, I was like, what do you mean? He goes, there you go, there's that pen, sell me a pen. And I goes, do you want to buy a pen, mate? And he goes, <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think this is the job for me. And I left and that's it. Oh, and did you? Do you know yeah, when that was? That was, don't tell me it was you, was it? No, it <laughs> wasn't me, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Not technically Absolutely not. <laughs> Fucking Star Wars kid. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> sell me pen, you will. <laughs> so you knew that? I <laughs> know, I know, just from... Pop culture. pop culture, pop culture, pretty much, yeah. But but it was because we'll, that was in Wolf of Wall Street as well. Yes. So he's. I uh, know uh, this was. Well a bastard probably Wolf got that. Oh really? Yes. No, it was way before Wolf of yeah. Wall Street. Do you think he this was Wolf inspiration Street? for Wolf of Wall Street? But that might be a con- that might be a wide, widely used tactic. Probably. Yeah. yeah. It's binding. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I used to work in a well-known clothes store that rhymes with. Forever Brightland. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're not, you, you can't get fired from that because you're already gone, so exactly. it's okay. <laughs> yeah. And the manager I had there at the time would eat shit and breathe denim. And she would like round you up at the end of the week and be like, 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 marching up and down with a fucking muscle bone gears. The denim sales are dropping. What are we going to do? And you're like, I don't know. And she's like, price and yeah. she's like, flares are down. <laughs> Low raise is down. To make matters worse, some people think I look like me dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then the music came on and everyone had to fucking oh, party wow. right. <laughs> That's what we had to do. People come to the shop. And Boot, she cut, did, boot cut down fine though. Yes, boot, boot cut, cut lay back in the boot uh, cut. Yeah. And you're just like, why do you care so much about the denim? And like, you know, you're just there in a wage like the rest of us. Like, yeah. you're not getting, you're not getting like a share on the amount of mm-hmm. boot cut jeans that are being bought in this specific <laughs> Victoria Square fucking River Island. River Island. And it just used to fry my head. Because like, as well, a pair of jeans are the sort of things that you specifically need to go out and buy. Yeah. You're not out to buy like a dress for a night out or whatever and end up buying a pair of jeans that's mental like jeans are something you have really thought about and you need a pair of jeans do you mm-hmm, know what yeah, I mean yeah. that's not you don't buy them on a flip you can't talk someone into a pair of jeans Connor <laughs> sold it. do you know what I mean you can t- you know, talk someone out of a pair of jeans sell yes. me a pair of jeans <laughs> but, tell them a few jokes yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but not in but yeah I used to work in D2 I think it's called yeah in Portadown when it was there I and when we weren't talking to customers and trying to sell them jeans, we had to be folding Tidy. the jeans. Yeah. And every pair of jeans had to be folded exact. It was like the it's worst. So stupid. It was the worst. See, I haven't worked in like a clothes shop or whatever, so mm. every time I like, you know when you take a pair of jeans that are already folded, look at it, blah, blah, blah. I can't fold it back again. So mm. I just like try to do it and then just go, yeah. I, leave it there. Do you know what, Connor? You can. You haven't tried hard enough. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> I think you could. <laughs> Have but like, there's the always like no? a funny. T- no, I haven't done the. the Do you ever see those wee things you see online where they like put like a T-shirt on top of like a frame and they just go like, yeah. and it just Fuck. makes it perfectly. You're that's supposed to roll it, aren't you? Like in the drawer, as well. That's oh, that's if you're Marie Kondo on your shelf. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. She that's that's what I do too now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. It's almost handier in like a suitcase and stuff too. Rolling's good. Sean yeah. means just like I, I do. Oh, just rolling the ball and then just fuck it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kobe. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's Marie Kondo. Do you ever like? Have you looked at her stuff? Is that why you're doing that? Yes. 
and like you know this doesn't you come, couldn't have give seen joy. More like a middle-aged west belfast bunch yeah. of rollers in your hair mad and i even with a yeah it's fucking freezing <laughs> <Make quantum consumption>. <laughs> well, <laughs> no just like tina my wife was Watch well, nothing. I'm gonna blame her. Yeah. Um, like all the shows that like you know, like me and Chelsea and all, you know, it's her that watches it. Yeah. But, you know, she was watching it like and it's like, you know, gives you joy and stuff, you throw it out. Yes. It doesn't and all that shit. And did you do you think it does? No, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> it's like and it's like Talk to the nineteen million people that watch Marie Kondo. <laughs> I can know, but sure. So who's, Although, who is she? So who? she's a g so Marie Kondo had this Netflix series about decluttering your life you'd love it it's like dog whisperer but for like clutter. t-shirts I was actually <laughs> I was tidying yeah. Winter's room last week and I was thinking to myself I wonder is there a wee job in this do you go into somebody's house and it's a shithole the room and you just tidy it all and is that I hard? would love that it's not like I thought you were <laughs> looking at me you cleaner. give me those eyes or as if that's what fucking Lisa Quadro or something does or whatever the fuck <laughs> no you call her. that is a job is it <laughs> Aye, a cleaner uh-huh. no not a cleaner like a, someone who you go in and you're like, right, I'm going to move these chest of drawers yes. over to here. And I'm yes, gonna that is a job. Feng, and that's a dream job. Feng shui. There are people called the... I'd do that. This, they're not the style sisters, are they? There's a, f- there's a few people online, you see them, and like people hire them to come in, and they organise your shit. Hmm, and they like That'd be great For that. people that have pantries, they go in and do that sort of shit. They go into their closets and they organise things and like colour-coded and, oh, yes. It would be a real like Irish thing, though, that, you know, everything is like a mess and you want to clean up before the cleaner comes. <laughs> yeah. Sort mm-hmm. of thing. Because like, like we, yeah, we were thinking about like, because oh, we're both lazy bastards. I'm not gonna lie, right? And <laughs> we're like, she will like pay for a cleaner once a month or something like, yeah. come and do like a proper clean because we're shy of it. And then that sounds really middle class, doesn't it? Like, but, <laughs> no, you know, but like just because we're lazy as shit. And then we're like, but we're gonna have to clean it before because it looks yeah. really bad. Yeah, to you minute. want to be think we're stinking. The dog no, been we're stinking. Out and all, and like you know what I mean. And don't want them judging me, so we'll clean it. But it's like, what's the point then? Did you get a cleaner in? No. So we did that. I had the same thought a few months ago, and I was like, we need to get a cleaner in now. Yeah. Our house is now too big. I can't <laughs> clean it. I can't clean it myself. Um. So I was like, we our house is bigger now than what the house we had before. So I was like, we need to get a cleaner in. Too many wings. We yes. Yeah. We got yeah. a cleaner in, and I came back expecting the smell of summer fresh to boot me up a face Sephora, and for it to be know. like wee bird like like snow white like fucking birds going out the window and all and I was all this is going to be anyway, came home couldn't even smell bleach I was ripping and I was all do you know what I just need to invest the time to put cleaning this house again myself because they did not they they left it unscented how fucking mental is that disgusting I know you expect there to be like going out the front door and then just like flying up in the air yes <laughs> it's like Mary Poppins shit just like you use something with a bit of a scent yeah, yeah. fair enough like I wouldn't smell like that even all. the wee car air fresheners just walk about the house you yeah, know, like you're a priest it. with all the fucking <laughs> 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 do yes. that bit of talking powder over it do you know that thing that they do at a funeral yeah um, like Catholic funerals incense funeral. stuff it's, yeah. it's incense yeah. isn't it and they waft it at my godmother's like funeral garbage. oh I think I actually said this on the podcast before at my, mm. at my godmother's funeral they did the whole wafty wafty and the whole place was like <coughs> yeah. with like all that smoke. Like Davenham's perfume oil. Yes. <laughs> but I remember turning to Sean going, she'd fucking hate that. She's really asthmatic. <laughs> <laughs> Wafted all the shit above her coffin. And I was like, she would be raging. I'm surprised your ma or somebody wasn't there with an inhaler. Every couple of things, <laughs> she was up. Puff, 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 puff. I know. That's one of the best jokes in Father Ted. She says, watch Father Ted. Like, like, Father Ted was great. I actually haven't and I'm oh embarrassed to admit that. She's too young for it, weren't you? I'm past the time where now I would watch. I think if you watched it back then, it's like a classic. I think if you nah. watched it for the first time now, you'd nah, go... No, you'd be, you'd be fine. Well, I well I hope so. Someday Please I will. Please watch it. I will. Well, they were they were doing a thing where there was like a funeral or something and like um, Ted goes to Dougal. D- uh, Dougal, have we got any incense? And he goes... Ah, there was a spider in the bath last week. <laughs> exactly. Like, no Dougal incense. <laughs> um, has there ever been a time in your life where you've genuinely been <clears throat> like scared, like spooked out? Um, I used to work in Hilden Brewery in you know Hilden. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad that they put that know, there. It's weird, it's it's mad that worked they well. Had a Hilden Brewery. Right? Yeah, yeah, out of yeah. anywhere we can put this, we'll <laughs> stuck it in Hilden. I know, but uh, worked there, and it used to be like an old Victorian sort of manor place, right? And there was like the, the bar and the restaurant was where the stables were, mm. and there used to be so many things that were weird as shit in that place. Like oh really? Like, a, like big heavy bottle of vodka, like a ten glass one or a liter one, and it was full. 
it just I was working the bar one day and like no, it cleaning, disappeared. Cleaning, cleaning, no, it <laughs> disappeared. It um I was sort of cleaning up and so after a shift and it was like eleven, eleven thirty at night, so quite dark and then and nobody else was there. I had to lock up and the bottle just from the shelf just went <gasps> onto the ground. That's spirits for you, hey? So, oh, <laughs> well done. But like I don't believe in it. <laughs> You don't believe so, in it? No, so I say like it's a it's a wonky shelf or something probably, but it it was weird at the time. A wonky shelf. <laughs> <laughs> it just gave in then. It's just been up for in. ten years. But sure, whatever I was saying to Sean before too, whenever I so we were in the opera house last week, I don't think I finished saying about that, about how haunted it is. Mm. And in our dressing room, the mm-hmm. lid from the bin, like it's a proper bin that looks like C three PO. Or no, R two D two. C three PO would be so weird if it looked a bin like that. There you go. Um, so <laughs> Welcome like, to the Virgin Club. <laughs> I'm the, the lady. Yeah. Like, you're, the, yeah, you're yeah. the chairman. The chair of it. <laughs> um, the whole lid flew off and went about four foot and there was three of us in the room, the, me and the other two actresses, and we literally all looked at each other all like, that definitely just happened, but mm. what the fuck? But then, so then we were talking to the producer about it and he was like, well, this building is really haunted because as I was saying, like theatres have a ghost light mm-hmm. where they keep the light on to like, keep company the ghosts that live there I think that's what it is no the opera house actually doesn't have a ghost light and um, apparently there's a wee girl that haunts there okay. and they have footage of her one of the paranormal teams were in filming one time and there's footage of the wee girl running in front of the camera a wee toddler need to look that up I know I haven't <clears> even looked up since and then apparently on the grounds that the Grand Opera House used to be a uh, circus okay and a trapeze artist apparently died mid Trapeze and haunts the place. Shit. Yeah. It's just swinging from the rafters all day long. <laughs> so, um. There's a couple of ghost stories about Belfast like that, though. There's a good, good few. Like, I love that. There's a lot of them. Did like you hear the one about the family that, like, completely disappeared overnight? No. And, like, there was this boy, I think he was, um,. He was about eight or nine. What are you looking for? The both of us are like. This is going to be a joke. <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Is it? He's a, yeah, he was about <laughs> eight or nine, right? And uh, him and his family, they all like they had a, like a big family over for dinner and stuff, and they were all eating their dinner, or whatever. But the the wee lad had an argument with the rest of his family, mm-hmm. so he was sent to bed early, right? And he before he went up to bed, he was like, uh, "I hope my family disappear." And the next morning, he woke up and his family were all gone. It's fucking home alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Knew from the get go like that was gonna be something like that. Does he do this in the house? Yes. <laughs> All home alone. <laughs> Always home alone. Always that exact story. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Every time he opens his mouth, I can tell from the first few syllables if it's a piss take or not. Oh, God. Um, it was there a time that you've been genuinely scared? No, don't be a wee dick. I swear to God, right? Blair Witch Project. Never mm. in my life did I ever think and have I thought since then that I would be afraid of a movie. That's fair. But Blair Witch Project scared the shit out of me we all believed it was real when it came out everyone was like that's a real thing because yeah because the internet wasn't really around as much then sure it wasn't I don't think so I I watched it me my mum and dad my wee brother right and I was about 14 or 15 I'd imagine and my mum and dad were all ah they're scared and my dad was like scaring us the rest of the night I was like I'm not scared (laughs) and they were all right I'm going up to bed here and you like walked up the walls you were like (laughs) up the stairs it must have been like creepy to your mum and dad they were like (laughs) to see you just like going up the wall like that Spider-Man and then my my head just did a full 360 yeah I hate when like movies no one like they get down like start crawling and shit like um natural looking what's that it's not the pole what the ring yeah Yeah. the girl comes out of it oh I could have dressed up as her could have, could have, yeah. Probably could have got away with that. Whenever then where do you get a TV? <laughs> I mean, our house. Would you not like break a TV and... Do you know what? The best Halloween costume I've ever seen was a girl dressed up as a fridge. And <laughs> swear to God, she was a full-sized... Like American um, fridge? Smeg fridge. And when she opened it, light came on. No way. And she'd full food in shelves. So she, uh, we were in rate. She won the... The prize in Rain Nightclub used to remember Rain Nightclub mm-hmm. years ago it was like two thousand pounds or something like that there for like best and she won. But I mean it was phenomenal. She, she had an dreadful. electrician involved. There was lights inside Jesus it. Christ. There was food and shelves. I would say that's like too much, but then she won two grand, so Aye. you couldn't do that neither, the cost of living. Yeah, that's true. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You'd be out of pocket. Close that fridge door. Do you know, um years and years ago, so in my like late teens, two of my friends my two best friends who are two, two my bridesmaids mm-hmm. convinced genuinely and I'm not proud of this convinced me I was dead 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is true. Oh my God. It was like 18. We'd all been drinking. 18? Yeah. Wait. Did you think it was like 9? I was like four. <laughs> so 18. She was we, blocked. We, we, we were blocked. We were drinking. And like, we went on a walk outside. It was like, it was like really late. And we were like walking around. I don't know why. And I don't know if they were like pure in cahoots with each other. They must have master planned this because this isn't something that two people can just like signal to each other and start doing. Yeah. The wee bitches. <laughs> But one of them was all, do you not know it's the way nobody's talking to us that walks past us? And I was all, that might be because we're wee hoods. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, and then I was convinced and I was all, and I also, the drama queen on me would have loved that, to have like been <laughs> dead and walking around. Like I'd have been like, this is <laughs> so Did you play here? Mm-hmm. Did you play up dead after a while? At, at the start, <laughs> I was like, this is so silly. Like obviously I'm not dead. But that people were walking and people weren't talking to me. And like neither they should be. We're strangers in the street. <laughs> but I was just all, oh, I think we might be. And I was drunk and I was 18 and I was a drama queen. And for like ages, I think I started crying. <laughs> Did you, did you I think, think I they upset. were dead too? I thought the three of us were dead. Oh, okay. No, they didn't convince me it was just me. Oh, I... Oh, yeah, I thought like they better. could see you. Oh, no, they convinced... Oh, I, you're dead, but we can see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, the three of us, were dead. And right. we were walking around. And they... I mean, I was convinced. Then I think I realised we're probably not dead. Mm. But it's but it's really fun to let on for a while. Yeah. <laughs> just, just go, ooh, Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you I was walking around and people going, <laughs> And they were like, get, text my home bag. Get some bizarre attack. I think it'd be brilliant if like, you got really drunk with your mates in the house and then you just went for a night out. But as you were leaving the front door, like the front door closed and then your mates just all start hugging each other and crying and being like, I can't believe Diona's dead. Do you know, right. like at your front door? Yes. Like if they're walking away from like they the wake or something. That. Like, oh that would have been brilliant. That would That's be brilliant. a good idea for a movie. That uh, ends after the first scene. No, and then you go back <laughs> in time. To the end of the movie. To the, well, no, to the... End of earlier on when you're born, and then the person <laughs> actual actually dies, yeah. and then they have to do a proper wake, and then it's like all weird and shit. Yeah, and that's she like the woman. She doesn't believe. The, do you know she's a dead? woman. She doesn't believe. Yeah, they have to go back and convince her she's dead. Yeah, so they get her drunk, which is eighteen, to make her roam the streets of yeah. Derry. Yeah, comedy. <laughs> you done here with film? Yeah, gone ahead. <laughs> it's a box office flop. and spent too much money on it. <laughs> There's a girl or a woman who is like a Lurgan legend. Yes, Moira. Called Marjorie McGaw yeah or McCaw I think it is have you ever heard of her no she died once and was buried twice buried so oh, there was like a rhyme or something is there? yeah died yeah. once buried twice that's the rhyme oh, okay <laughs> it just doesn't rhyme <laughs> is that your granny played for Liverpool she nearly scored a goal she done the splits and ripped her tits and balls and up her hole is that that one no, <laughs> no. A different one she uh, what my favourite thing about that song is how can somebody rip their tits? How do you rip your tits? Like I love the idea the of somebody ball ripping rip, their tits. Rip but the ball fully goes up your hole. The whole ball? Like that's that's that. Well, a bit th- smaller. Did you say she was playing for fo- playing football? She plays for Liverpool. She could be playing golf for Liverpool. Liverpool golf club. So it'll be like this size of a ball up her hole. <laughs> Which, let's be honest. So she died <laughs> once. Feasible. She died once and she was buried twice. Yeah. And when she died grave diggers or robbers or whatever found out that she was dead but mm-hmm. she was being buried with all this like gold on her finger or something so they dug her up one night and they all this gold on her finger a ring a ring <laughs> yes so they went to cut her finger off but as they cut her finger off she woke uh-huh. up screaming <laughs> yeah. so they shipped themselves and ran away and she climbed out of this fucking coffin and stuff and hobbled home and she got into her front door and apparently her husband had like a heart attack and stuff and he was like yeah. really bad and her husband he got nearly died he died he did die and then he got buried he did die and then he did die he did and then she died later and then no then she lived for like whatever amount of years died again they buried her in the same plot because why would you waste the money Hmm. They poked her a few times this That's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kept her <laughs> weight last like six weeks just to make sure. He takes turns of booting her. Yeah. <laughs> Margie! They had, they had Margie. That on graves. They had like wee bells. Yes. With the string down to the grave. Oh, because that was a bit, thing yeah, years ago. That. People got buried who were like in a coma. People were. I'm just like. Ran yeah. Reynolds. Hmm? Ran Reynolds. What get... was his film? Buried, was it called? I don't know. Did that happen to him? Yeah, he got buried alive or something. He woke up and he, was, uh, he just had a, a phone and that was it. What would be your worst happened. nightmare? Marrying you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, like, I I could, I, like, being buried alive would be, like, be, the... Be bad. Pure bait, like, suffocating. Have you seen Kill Bill? You can get out of that. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, he, I have seen that one. It goes, like, a wee punches, and then you can dig out of it. I mean, I feel like people would have done that mm. if, if that was, like, a... An... Maybe they haven't seen Kill Bill, though. Imagine all of the stood between you and survival Kill who's Bell. watching Kill, Kill Bill. That's second. why you should watch like Lord of the Rings and shit. You don't know Just what you'll case, pick up. Just in case, you know, come across orcs. Crabs. <laughs> yeah. No interest. Um, 
do you know what I would hate <clears throat> if you turned blind and then you forgot what your family looked like over time oh that is so dark I know I think I'd really hate that Jesus <laughs> I don't think you'd forget but they would change so you wouldn't know what they look like n- now new. can you still see things like in your mind oh in your in mind, mind I'm you're sure I to. you're bound to but like what if you're blind from birth do you see things I, I don't it. know, I but doubt I doubt it. it. What do you see? Like, do you see? Does there's nothing? I just, I think it's probably nothing. I know. What do you picture? What do you imagine? Yeah. Joe? What, what do you think people are, or what do you think they look like? Because you haven't seen colors or anything either, so you can't put something together. Mm. I know. Like you've no concept of a color. Yeah. Like when someone <clears throat> goes, "You green," you're like, "I don't know what green is." Someone green. must know, and like, this is going on YouTube, right? Yeah. Like, do you to put it in the comments below thing? <laughs> yes. Tell <laughs> us what blind people say. Tell us what from bl- birth. Well. But then a blind person from birth could explain to you, but they don't have this, the, we have yeah. different concepts yeah. of what things are. So they could go, oh, I see green, but what they're seeing in their head is a mushroom. You're like, but that's not what green is. And how do you know the green you're seeing is the same green I'm seeing? That's what I mean. Mm. As well. Because like, we don't have a we don't have a reference that both of us can look at yeah. to go, that's green. Like we've seen that that's green because we've been told that's green, but someone showed us green. Yeah. But, <laughs> but they don't know because they haven't seen that green. And then we're seeing that and I'm seeing as like, say you would see purple. Yes. And then I'm saying you're saying it's red. It's just because I know the word <coughs> green. Yeah. We could solve crimes. Mm. Mm. You too. I you, don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to do it. I'm doing three jobs today. You do it on the clock. Off He's on the job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what are the other haunted places in Belfast that you know of? You said there was other loads of haunted places. Yeah. I mean, there's obvious ones like Crumb Road Jail and all that sort of stuff. Like, but did you ever do their paranormal tour? Yeah. I did that and I did the House of Horrors thingy in it. Would well, they have the that? actors and all? I don't all. like that. <laughs> I know because. <laughs> do you know what? But I was in one. I think it might have been the. You no, know, it was the real one, the actual paranormal tour that's not actors popping yeah, out. Yeah, I did that too. Yeah. And there was a wee boy who was there, probably too young, probably shouldn't have been there in his early teens with mm-hmm. his parents. And he was like going, walking around, go, <laughs> he was walking around going oh, really? like. <laughs> Joe you know, and I was all oh, fuck's sake Joe you know, like talking about like dead people who died there and yeah. like the grim history of the building he was talking going Ooh! I was like hey, we could be doing my eye time in this did you get the thing like they have the two bits of metal and like know, you, you hold it in front of you like two TV aerials None of it moves and crosses like or some shit like that. That's like I mean, do you believe in that? That's like Ouija boards and all. We did Prehen House, remember, for the Sunday of Life. We went up to Derry to Prehen House that's meant to be haunted. And we did a whole tour with the, what do you call the team? Some paranormal 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 team. Is it? Maybe? Who? Paranormal Ulster. No, I think it was. was I don't think think they're active anymore. They've been decommissioned. Deceased. (laughs) Deceased. (laughs) They've been deceased. (laughs) But that would actually mean. They're back up and running. If they're deceased, if That's they're true. ceased, then they would stop. But if they're deceased, <laughs> they're re-ceased. I brought myself back from <laughs> from my bullet number forty seven. <laughs> but we did a tour, and I went into it, and I was like, I do not believe any of this shit. But I'm going to go in with a complete open mind, mm-hmm. and if I see anything or hear anything, <laughs> I'm going to fully believe. You went in with the belief, didn't you? And you, oh, the drama queen, I mean, was you? all hard to find something. Really? Like, no, I'm queen. even dead. <laughs> I, so I'm not even dead. I've been dead all along. <laughs> this is the end of the movie. <laughs> Fuck me. But I, 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 I didn't see or hear a single thing. And we were there for about four hours, I'm going to say. Yeah, and it was dark. And there was like, the guy who owned the place was this real big, larger than life character who was like, almost with like roughly shirts and colourful blazers and was like running around the place like a mad scientist. Yeah, so interesting though, he's he was, dead now, got he, he, he is deceased now, uh, but he, he was brilliant like. Yeah. And the paranormal team, everyone was like, well, yes, there is a spirit in this room and you're going, yes, there is. Were you going with that? Were you saying that? Sh- no, Sean no. was like, that's their fuck. See, I think I, I didn't believe like anyone. Probably, probably like, yeah. I was respectful yeah. the whole time, you know, or three out. Like, yeah, because you don't want to make people feel like what they're... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, doing, yeah. But I... Let them have but it. But all <laughs> these devices and listening things and gadgets and... Did you just have the wee spirit box thing, the radio Oh, thing? with everything. Uh, Those sort of like yeah. radio channels and stuff. Yeah, tablets <clears> and <throat> like all, all sorts of shit was there, yeah. But like, <clears> it's like, you wonder how people have found something that they can connect to like dead people with you and they're like... What, how did we yeah. like oh I all along all we needed was a, like a box of matches and a <laughs> hanger do you know what I mean <laughs> did she she said sorry to cut you off she uh, we were in the room and uh, you were all I think I see I feel a presence behind me and your guy was all 
Yep. Didn't want to say it, but there's a woman standing behind you. And you're like, fuck off. <laughs> Why didn't you say it before she mentioned it? Was an actual woman? No, but you know the way they're like, they're waiting for you to say something. Yeah. And then they're all, yes, that's right. There is yeah. a woman in here. Like, oh my God. Yeah, you're, you're, you're leading. It's like, you know, get into like a, a psychic or somebody. And, and, you know, they can tell by like something you're wearing that like you've, yeah. You know somebody, or do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. you basically feed them the information. Looked up your Facebook because like Teresa Livingston was on her last week, and I think some, so she said to her like, you know, you're you're probably not gonna fall in love anytime soon, and she was all, oh, and they were all, actually, you are, <laughs> you actually are. <laughs> That's right. I've like, just locked again. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Did you ever hear the story of Galloper Thompson? No. The headless horseman in Belfast. There's one. It's insane. What do you call him? Galloper Thompson. So right. what he do? As nickname. in Galloper? Yeah, as in Galloper. Right. Is there a statue of him? Yeah, there's like a plaque, I think, or like a thing. In, there's a thing in Tigers Bay, I know. <clears throat> He's from North Belfast. And what happened was he uh, worked in the Jenny Mount Mill up there. Okay? Right. And he said that like wherever he died, he would come back and haunt, just like we're talking about now. Yeah. And I don't know how true that is, like, obviously, but he ended up being decapitated. Yes. In one of the machines. His kappa got the table from <laughs> his ca- head. His, ca- his kappa. <laughs> yeah. The factory. Yeah. And, um, so he got decapitated. So they say that like down to Waring Street, you know, where yeah. the merchant is and all. Yeah. He, they've seen him run up sort of North Street and things and up towards North Belfast. Like if you go at a certain time of night when it's all quiet. That so you see him roaming the streets? You see him holding his head on a horse and riding up the road. Galloper like Thompson. if there's a way you want to exist forever, <clears throat> it's not holding your own head, isn't it? Now? And what horse did he get to? What's like, the one he was ready on when he got decapitated? Decapitated? Was I don't it? think he was we on a horse in the factory. Like you should put your hood up and lean over and lie over. I'll be the horse. <laughs> 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 no, he class. got decapitated in the factory. He was like working on a machine, right? And got his head stuck in it. Like that's and chopped off. Careless. Uh, he should have got a claim. <laughs> Well, he's he's not from Belfast. He doesn't get a claim. Yeah, he's dead. What like, was the factory? Mad. What was he working in? What was he doing? Jenny Mount factory was a sewing mill, sort of like a linen mill. And there. what? What did he like? Half climb in or fall in or he what? Was working fixing the machine apparently. And then what happens all the time? Those people's hair slipped. gets cut. Yeah, and those things that oh. pulls your hair. That in. wouldn't be a nice way to die. No jacuzzis. Jacuzzi. Do you ever hear people? You're not like you're not supposed to go down to the bottom of a jacuzzi because if you go down to the bottom, your hair can get tangled. And if you're in there on your own, nobody can see you unless your limbs are outside yes. the water. But there's people who have physically <laughs> drowned at the bottom of those. Oh, oh I prefer that instead of That's emotionally a, drowning. I'm or bringing. Oh, I thought you were going to say that movie idea instead of <laughs> no, leaving your house black. <laughs> your mates tell you that you're, is you're dead. Grim. Yeah. Yeah. Final, uh, might have been a final destination. One of the movies. One maybe. of the jac- a jacuzzi death. Could have been like there was like the sunbed one, in that. Yes. Where they get locked in the sunbed, and then they obviously die. Fried. The fried, <laughs> yeah. These are all like really rare ways of dying, but like the statistics are probably there, guys, if we, if we Googled it. <laughs> probably. Do you know what I mean? More people get killed by like cows or something a year than like sharks. <laughs> more people get killed by cows in Ireland? I think or in the world? worldwide, yeah. Overall? Yeah. What are cows doing to people? Tram- Standing on them? Trample them to death, yeah. Mm. <laughs> But that's that's I know it's like because you it's the thing you're least afraid of. Yeah, it'll get you in the they're, end. They're, they're <laughs> bad fucking. Yeah. That's mad. Um, so I you probably didn't have a remember when moment because you haven't hey. been prepped. Oh, do you, Connor? Do you have a remember when moment? Yes, and like your former guest, like it took me a little while to think about because obviously you have to go through your whole life. Yes, <laughs> it's a lot to remember. It is a lot. Um, probably not for me. I spent my life dead. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember anything. Um. Probably 1995. Do you remember when like Bill Clinton came over? Yes. This is obviously in Derry Girls. Of course, yeah. Too, of course. And I remember when that happened when I was in Derry. So 1995, he came over for his visit and he came to Belfast like switch on the, the Christmas lights. And I was about eight. Did he think. switch on the Christmas lights? I, I don't know if he did that. I can't remember. I was like he way got somebody else in the crowd. Probably got somebody else to do that. Like, you know, the mayor or maybe something did it. Yeah. But he made a huge speech on that time. Like, And I remember my brother was like two or three years old. Oh, not two or three, two or three months old, actually. Right. We went down to watch it, and like it was a big monumental speech, and mm. it was just a nice sort of historical moment to sort of be part of. And I can remember that really, really clearly yeah. as well. So it was a nice moment. Um, it's mad because I feel like there was a much bigger fuss about him being in Derry than there was in Belfast. Yeah, although he went up the falls, that was a big thing too. Uh, met Jerry Adams, I think, and stuff too. Is there photographs of them together? I, th- I, don't, I don't know. 
There's a couple of photos of him out to like Sinn Féin and stuff. That's when that. he was president, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's when he was president, before all this stuff. Why not a, <laughs> why not a hoofing about, doesn't it? If you're a president? Yeah. Why not a here, there and everywhere? But you have a class plane, at least. Yes, so your plane would have a bedroom. I know, but and nuclear weapons. And nuclear weapons. You'd yeah. be able to have, do you want, an a bite to eat. An a bite to eat. You can get anything, though. You can get anything, though. Bite to eat, you can get anything, though. Like. It's like when the Queen died, though, and you've seen the amount of work that the royal family had to do. <laughs> And they run up to her Going wedding, yeah. especially Charles, yeah. and you're like, that fucking young fella's just lost his ma. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. he's flying around let the him, place Let him grieve. Yeah. Don't send him to Hillsborough. Do you know what I mean? Let, <laughs> him, him, the let him sit in the house and just fucking cry and watch the notebook and <laughs> What's get a notebook? bath with a wee face mask and you just come round. Mad, the crown. Oh, the crown. You wouldn't yeah. watch yeah. the crown. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, or she likes to call him the home diary. It's true. So you don't hat. Yeah. he calls it. Do you know whenever um, I, I'm just weird. thinking of the plane because um, about um, Bill Clinton, I was going to say Bill Crosby, different Bill, thing. No. Having a wee bite to eat his plane. <laughs> yeah, be different. Bite to eat in his plane. Bill Clinton, how do we eat those things? So. Whenever I was on the, a flight to America for the first time to New York, I remember I was going to do a play and I'm sat beside the girl who was the writer for the play who's now one of my best friends. And the guy came in and was all like, you know, drinks or snacks and everything. She was all, I'll have a, a beer. And I was all, no, I'm all right. And then they... They like went to, she went to pay and he goes, no, 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 it's, there's like a mm. free bar and I was all, <laughs> <laughs> back you come. <laughs> so I will have three glasses of wine. And I was like, I was like, that's the absolute stoke on me. I was all, nah, I'm all right. And then as soon as I had it was free, I was all, well, now I'm getting blocked. Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> and eating all the things. You need to get your money's worth. Yeah. That's what we did. And we were going over to um, America on Paddy's Day, 2019. And the plane ran out of booze. From Dublin, no, oh, because everyone so drank. Many getting, just oh. all the Irish ones going over, like, and just absolutely cleaned it out. Like, full fact, crack. <laughs> I went to the KFC and bought your rope when I was a student, and they no chicken left. Wasn't there a thing? We only had years ago, we did that in the drive through about Chefs five years ago. Bought your rope, did no chicken left. It was the same bought your rope one, was it? They must, they must, they must fall out with their suppliers. <laughs> yeah, it's my park, apparently. <laughs> my park, is it? Mm-hmm. No, it comes from Peru. Peru, I thought they get their chicken from Peru. <laughs> what? Is that, I'm not even joking. I don't even KFC. know what to refer to. to. I can't back it up. so far away? I don't know. It's where they grow their chickens. That's, they grow their chickens? <laughs> Is this not a part? <laughs> do they get chipped over or do they have to fly over and that's what makes them more tasty or what? Well, I thought they kill the chickens, bring them over from Peru. Peru? Maybe they, get, maybe they are in Hawaii Park in. Paddington's from Peru. Tiro. Paddington? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I Peru. Maybe it's not Peru. Uncle Pastuzo. <laughs> Maybe it's They're in Peru. We Valley's called Peru in County Tyrone. Guys, yeah, all right. Maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe Peru they don't get down. their chicken from it's Peru. A, it's a big, like, jump. Yeah, pour it down to Peru. <laughs> it's like, whoa. <laughs> Both getting paid, I suppose, yeah. Maybe. They did advertise the 2014 World Cup, though. Because I remember Peru. watching Brazil. No, Boy Park. <laughs> Boy Park. The Boy Park. Of... Advertised? See, in the World Cup. World Cup. Big connections with Peru. Biter. <laughs> there was there was ones like in the hoardings. I was like watching the match, and I was like, it's "Fucking Moy Park advertised there." Oh really? Like, on, on the, the on the advertising board. Some and where Brazil. was the World Cup held? Brazil, not Peru. See, see. I mean, how far are they? Potato, apart? potato. <laughs> I mean, you're right. There you go. You What's need your... to apologise to all your Peruvian listeners and all the chickens <laughs> and all the chickens and the Brazilian. It's like do you know when like we've just called <clears throat> a whole pile of Irish chickens. Peruvian, mm. yeah, and they're going like, do you know what people here call you British or Irish? But I said, no, I'm a fucking Peruvian. I'm Irish. I'm an Irish chicken. <laughs> From Peru. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you remember by moment? I was going to say quack, and that's a duck, and that would have been a whole thing. Anyway, I mean, you just reminded us there, like you were just about to do that. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. I know Sean just got asked in the podcast just beforehand, so he might not remember anything. <laughs> I remember actually. This is about a flight. Were you speaking about a flight? I remember me and Diona were on a flight once, right? And Diona sat up halfway through the flight and she was like, I swear we're forgetting something. Oh, God, <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was invested there. <laughs> I was like, I've left the garage. <laughs> Winter. <laughs> this is a Halloween episode, not a Christmas episode. Sorry. I went, uh, heaven! <laughs> me and Diona were on her broom, right? And we were flying across yep. the Atlantic. Yep. Uh, Peru. Uh, when you said to me you probably don't have one as like I do and I didn't but then I thought of one on the spot but now that you've asked me again I forget it so I'm going to say Lady Diana do you remember where you were when Diana was I killed? I remember exactly where it was 
It was a Sunday morning and I had a pink TV in my bedroom and I'd never heard of her before until she died because it was two, I was only about five or six or whatever. What year did she die? 94, 97? Well, okay, maybe it was eight. Should have probably known about it. Yeah. And I remember getting in and I, I broke the news to my man, Dad. You broke the news? I was like, Lady Diana's dead. Did they, did, what was their reaction? How did they react? Off, I'm a lion. <laughs> Said what? You're lying. They wanted to have a lie on it. Was a Sunday. Oh, you're right. a liar. You're a liar. No, I'm over here. I can't remember what the reaction was, but I just never. I didn't think. I didn't know who she was, but they obviously were quite shocked. Do you know what I mean? Twin Towers is a big, big, big thing. Yes. Oh yeah. Do you remember we said that in this podcast? Yeah. 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 Has it actually? I don't know why people like, no, yeah. every boxer we've had. I do one. remember being. Do you know? I, I I'm recording another one, yeah. podcast after this with William Thompson and William. I text him going, "Whatever you do." Don't bring up 9-11. He goes, that is genuinely so funny because I was going to. That was the That's moment weird, I was going to. like, I need to like have a disclaimer yeah. whenever I bring guests. I'm going, stop talking about 9-11. But that is probably the one thing in our lifetime. It's like the big, yeah, big like thing. Yeah, it's like it is, like, It's something from a movie. Because you're of a certain age at that point. Yeah, like, yeah. So what, what age are you then? Finger and age. <laughs> I was about 18, 17, 18, I think. He, he just, just had finger and age. <laughs> 17. Mm-hmm. Didn't he? 17, you were getting fingered in. <laughs> late, 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 late bloomer. <laughs> I think I was like 13, 14, something like that. Yeah. The, we, the wheel did TV in. It was in school. It was mm-hmm. like two o'clock. Yeah. The wheel team was like three glasses watching it. It, right. it was, but that is like something from a movie where all the kids in school are like crowded around the TV watching it. Why have you got a smirk on your face for? <laughs> I was just thinking if you were going to ask me if I knew where I was when Diana died. Where were you when Diana died? I was in France and Madonna and he was late for a meeting and uh, oh my God. we phoned a taxi. Sean, <laughs> 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 There's some things in that little of touch, isn't there? But it's so funny because oh, I... I want, loads I want... of things. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Right, before we finish up or something, <clears throat> either of you want to plug. <clears throat> Instagram handle. Go you first, go you first. You can find me on most social media things. I'm on Tickety Talk now too, you know. See, just saying, the way, you, the way you just said tickety-talk. I know, I have to be millennial. I have to be millennial. I know, I need to be millennial about it. Like, because I know it's there's like connotations, isn't there, with TikTok? Like, yes. you just. Do you know what? Even Sean says to me all the time, like, oh, I saw a video today and he was all. Like, he, he hates yeah. even using it. She's saying those two words. Yeah. She's saying those two words. I want to kill myself. It was yeah. like, it's like, it's like you that know Peter Kay thing. It's for 12 year olds, isn't yeah. it? You know the Peter Kay thing when his mum, the lesbian girl. Yeah. 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 But <laughs> at Document Belfast and on Instagram too. And I'm on YouTube too, which is Belfacts to confuse things. Ah. Uh, because I'm doing like more world clever. stuff as well. But yeah, if you're interested in like history and Belfasty stuff and maybe like a wee bit beyond, that was come, clever come to find me. do worldwide facts but call it Belfacts. Yeah. It's very clever. <laughs> so my cousin created that. Thing. Why? I was joking. It's oh, I was all sounds like Belfast. Oh, it's like Belfast. YouTube bastard. I know. <laughs> what are you joking? I know. <laughs> my cousin then. <laughs> what did she ever do? My cousin did it. <laughs> um, what? I swear to God, I thought that was your hand <laughs> 20 minutes ago. It, it should have been. It should have been. I could have had him have. on the whole time. Yeah. It's your uncle's hand. Could have had it. You oh, could have been. Oh, wait, Stop it. Uncle Fitter. Uncle Fitter. You could have been. What do you call your Tara the It Girl? Tara, do you mean from like the night, like the early two thousands? Tara Palmer, Palmer oh, Tompkinson. Yeah, Tara Palmer Tompkinson. Tara. Tara. Yeah. What about her? You could have been her, like It Girl. Ah, or like Tara Saltonishon, like any It Girl. Is that, that what you is, mean? Yeah, yeah. That's a stretch. That is a stretch. No, no, no. I but I swear to God, I thought that was your hand twenty minutes ago. I was meant to say oh, you were you? you were like talking and you were sitting like this, and it was the exact color of your you, top. You've make up your hand well. I thought you just had your hand leaned over. A no. What were they wearing? Um, sheet of armor, mm-hmm. apparently. Sean, what do you want to plug? Um, Home Alone, obviously. We've got tickets out now. Uh, goh.co.uk. We have less than three hundred tickets left for our entire run of December. Yeah. And also, we got an email 20 minutes before we came in here. Can we talk about that? I've already said at the start, there's an extra week of shoes on. It's Mambo 47. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and then what's your Instagram and your... Sean Haggerty, comedian. Podcast. Yeah, search for my, just search my name and stuff will come up. Okay. Um, thank you very much. What's your podcast called? Are you fucking serious? No, I know. I'm just getting <coughs> the opportunity to say it. It's a weird name for a podcast. Should be, should be. That's a good the podcast is called One Two One Two, and I'm actually the guest on it this week. Yeah, it's fantastic. Do you, 
way more like arguing than we did in this one. Fair. <laughs> Is it like a marriagey sort of one? No, no, no. You don't do that. No, we wouldn't be qualified. The episodes <laughs> we used to do hanging with the Hagerties. We did just do a podcast where it was like I, but it wasn't about. It was just like it was just like a normal podcast. But we haven't done one about marriage because we mm. aren't happy. <laughs> so there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me today Thank you for and having happy me on. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>